Hello. Uh, welcome to this video on geometric proofs. We're going to go through a couple proofs on um, using geometry, I guess. Uh, first thing first, we look at this and we try to talk about anything that we're going to need. We want to prove that angle GBD is 60 degrees. To do so, think about the things that we need. We can uh, use the 70 and the 50. So the first thing we have to do is do our measure of angle EDF equals 70 degrees. Measure of angle DGB equals 50 degrees. And the reason why we know that is it's given in the problem. Second thing we need is if this is 70, Across from here is also going to be 70. So I'd say measure of angle BDG is equal to 70 degrees. And why do we know that? Because we know vertical angles are always congruent. Vertical angles are congruent. So our third one. So if I know these, I if I called this X, uh, we could, or I, I guess we don't need to call it, we could just say measure of angle GBD plus 50 plus 70 is going to equal 180. Why do I know that? Because that's the sum of interior angles of a triangle. Sum of interior angles of a triangle equals 180 degrees. So once we have that, then we just subtract the 50 and 70 from both sides. So the measure of angle GBD is equal to 60 degrees. And that's the subtraction property of equality. All right, let's start. Now, a little bit more complicated of a problem is we have this one, and we're going to assume that uh, x is up here. I'm going to zoom out here for a second so you can see the whole thing. So now, if x is up here, um, we'll assume that we're going to start with measure of angle C, D E equals x. And the lines are parallel. Um, so B J is parallel to D G, and um, B D is parallel to J G, and that's just given. All right, we have that figured out. So now if I know that, I know this angle, because if that's x, this will have to be x. And that's measure of angle BDG equals x. And that's because of vertical angles. Well, that's good. We have that. Now we want to find all see that all four of these add up to 360. So if this is x, this has to be 180 minus x. I didn't write that very well, but measure of dgj equals 180 minus x. And that's because it's a consecutive interiors. That's good. And then likewise, um, this angle would be x. Because 180 minus 180 minus x would just be x. So make measure angle bjg 
and that's also consecutive interiors. And then we could do the same thing, D, D, J. One eighty minus X. And that's consecutive interiors. Now I'm going to zoom in because now it's getting tough for me to write on this paper. I'm going to change my view for a second and zoom back to page width and zoom down here. And now once I have this, now my four interior angles are x, 180 minus x, x, and 180 minus x. So I have x plus 180 minus x plus x plus 180 minus x equals 360. And the reason I know that's true is uh, that's just, those are the angles. So those are just interior angles of uh, the parallelogram. And, um, or I guess, we don't even have to say equals 360. We can just say we add them up. And when we add them up, x minus x cancels out. x minus x cancels out. So the interior angles, so this equals interior angles. That equals the interior angles. And so all those angles of the parallelogram add up. And what do we do here? We just add it and subtract it. All right. So that is a proof. And we are done.